Good morning, and we're back in Middle Earth, and happy 15th anniversary to Lotro. So, today starts the anniversary festival, and oh my, they went all out for this one. So, what do we have? Well, we have a new festivity instance called a Flurry of Fireworks, which we're definitely going to have to try out because that sounds like a lot of fun. We have a lot of new items to barter for. I mean, we have a, a new set of, I guess it's a, we're going to call it a cosmetic set of armor. We have a new steed. We have, of course, the war steed cosmetics to go along with the new steed. We have a corgi, which I guess that one's for Mithril. The fireworks corgi is. We have, of course, fireworks. We have the anniversary blue sparkler. The Tome of the Tricolor Corgi. Corgi. God, such a cute little dog, but I'm not sure. Well, it would probably be perfect for a hobbit. Hmm. I think Fistool is getting a new pet. And if that wasn't enough, like I said, they went all out. So... The following will happen automatically when Update 33 goes live. Permanently free for everyone. The High Elf, Runekeeper, Warder, Warden, and Bjarning. All quest instances, areas, and expansions, of course, up to level 95. We know about that. Also, add it to the VIP Subscription is the Mordor expansion, the Minas Morgul expansion, the War of Three Peaks. They're adding five quest log, plus five to our quest log limit, which means we get a little more breathing room when it comes to all those quests we have on our books. The subscriber jug, which is the VIP Town Services, will now last for two weeks instead of one day, which... For those of you that use it, that's adding a whole lot of value to it, which because that means you only have to pick that up once every two weeks instead of going to a vendor daily to pick it up. The Then there's a Chestnut Corgi Pet, a Steed of Starlight, it all, which also auto-grants the War Steed Cosmetics. Now, for these, you have to make sure to log in during the anniversary event to get them. The Collector's Edition of Mordor, the Collector's Edition of Minas Morgul, the Collector's Edition of War of Three Peaks. VIP get a Starlight Cloak, a Hooded Starlight Cloak, a Light Weapon Aura. I have no idea what that is, but we're going to find out. Once per account... So, this is, these are very special gifts. Make sure you're logging into the account or the server which you want to get these items on. 10 Mithril Coins, Gift of the Valor, a small carry-all selection box, a 15-year celebration gift box that contains the writing characteristic. 2,000 Bonus Virtue XP, Reputation Acceleration Tome, Slayer and Skill Deed Boost, Tracery Reclamation Scroll, Tracery Token Incomparable, Legendary Item Box. And for the VIPs, they also get another 40 Mithril Coins, Anniversary Medium Carry-All Selection Box, 15-year celebration VIP, VIP gift box containing writing characteristics. So, yes, you're going to end up getting two of those. And for 
those of us to who never need writing traits, well, that's kind of a waste. But another 2000 Virtue XP, Reputation Acceleration Tome, another Slayer and Skill Deed Boost, another Tracery Reclamation Scroll, Tracery Token Legendary. I don't even know what those are for, but we'll find out. Legendary Item Box. And a massive pile of silver scraps worth two gold. Woohoo! Two gold. Maybe I'll give that to little Miss Vistula. She needs a little. So, and it's, it does note to make sure to log on to the world you wish to receive these awards. Once per account reward to distribute it to the first character on the first world you log into while the anniversary event is active. So, and of course, Yonder Sire is coming with update 33. Let's see what we got, because she did get a whole bunch of stuff when she logged in. Alright, so we have our Starlight Cloak. Let's see what that looks like. Um... It's all right for a cloak. I'm not a big fan, fan of cloaks, but it's all right. I still like the lace one from the Midsummer the best. And there's a hooded version. Oh, we don't want to do that. We want to do that, which is the same thing, only with an added hood. Okay. We have our chestnut corgi pet, which, like I said... I'm going to hold off on using that because Fistula might be getting it. But if Fistula already gets her own, then I'll use it. Mordor Collector's Edition bonus items. Oh, maybe we should uh, try to clean out some space here because I think we're about to get overloaded in our inventory. How can I be of service? We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Oh, we have to keep that. Darn it. Well, I don't have much I can actually get rid of. Oh, yes, I can send some stuff off. Get rid of this junk out of my inventory. Uh, that's it? Nope. More here. Wait. Ah, oh, there. Alright, send those off. We have any space over here to put shove some of this junk. Oh well, we can get rid of these old potions. That's what we can do. Good grief. Greetings. We have some ancient potions now. Keep that. Keep that. Where are the level twenty five ones? We can get rid of level twenty five potions. Can get rid of level 35 potions. Get rid of that. We never use it. Can get rid of these things we never use. We'll keep that one. We'll keep food. We'll keep level 45 potions. Okay, we could get rid of that. Okay, come on. 
Level 35. We could get rid of level 35 potions. Oh, we still have a level 25 potion floating around in here. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Now we can move some of these higher level potions. Over in here. Get, get in there. I guess we'll hold on to these. Um, we have some more of those things we can get rid of. Okay. Where are they? We'll get rid of those. We'll get rid of those. Probably don't need a map to Thorin's Hall, but we'll hold on to it. Get rid of that. We'll get that stuff down here. And do I have enough room to perhaps look at some of this stuff now? I'm going to have to redo my bars again. That'll wait. Wait, what are those? I don't need might. Okay, I can get rid of the Feast of Rohan. What else can we move? Move that over here. I don't know why. I don't eat a violin. I'm missing something in here. Hmm, I am missing something in here. I don't think I sold it. I didn't see it. All right, so I have cats fighting. Oh, I guess I can get rid of these old stones too. All right, one more thing. What do you need? Let me find them. Get rid of the riddle stone. Get rid of what is it? Etched barrel. Oh, and actually, no, we're not getting rid of that one. Okay. All right. So now we have. Mordor's collector, Collector's Edition bonus items. Holy Havana. What did I just open up? A big old bag of Lord knows what. Alright, what do we get? We have a Steed of the Alliance of the Third Age. Well, we're going to have to look at that outside. We have a Mordor Collector's Edition armor set. We have... A Tome of the Hopeful Swan Kite. We'll take a look at that. I don't think anybody else needs to have a kite. I don't think she needs to have a kite either, but, you know, that's besides the point. 
We'll put that over here. All right, so Minus Morgul Collector's Edition bonus items. We get a Tome of the Shepherd dog. Another dog. Okay. Another cosmetic armor set. I think that was it for that one. We're not using that. Absolutely not using that. Expedition supplies. Uh, three Peaks Collector. And what are we getting in that? A large carry-all selection box. Oh, yes. Uh-oh. Oh-oh. The world's shutting down. Okay. We're going to pause for just a minute. 